So we're hoping mm. that uh, carries us through. And I'm talking to you guys on candlelight at the time being. Wow. I mean, how long did it take for that flooding to reach that level in your home? Are you talking a matter of minutes, hours, what? Uh, one, it, it just came out of nowhere. Within probably an hour and a half, it went up about four feet uh, from, from nothing. Wow. We didn't think we were going to get hit by the storm. It didn't even really rain all today. And uh, and then just the, the wind and the storm surge, it's just uh, we, the, the homes flooded before. We've had, you know, an inch of water here or there, but nothing like this. This is definitely the biggest, biggest flood we've ever had. So it's kind of a bummer. I self-insure. Uh, but mm -hmm. I, I moved all the cars out of the way. I'm just hoping that the, the boat holds on now. So it is I mean, what it is. That's, I, I love your attitude and positivity in this. I can tell you, I would be pulling out my hair going, I'm sitting in a kayak, four feet of, of water. You've got a positive attitude. Let me ask you this though. You know, is the water still coming into your house? Yeah, it, it's, it's still rising. Um, really? Yeah. Yeah. The wind, I keep checking the weather apps and, and checking CNN for the weather and, I don't know. It's just getting worse and worse. I'd like to say I could go to sleep. I have a headache for some reason, but I don't, I don't think I can sleep. So I'm, I'm just up watching. It's it's not for some reason. Your house is flooded right now, Matt. I, mean, it's, it's, <laughs> I think we can identify the cause of that particular headache. I'd say I don't even have a medical degree on this, but I just wonder. I mean, I'm, I, my heart is going out to you and so many people this must be representative of who are having this flooding inside their own homes. How do you even begin to clean up something like this? It was saying, uh, according to the Tide app, the water's not going to recede until about 1.30 p.m. tomorrow. So uh, I'm sure it's still going to be up. I don't, I don't know. I've never dealt with such a cleanup like this. Uh, can't say I'm looking forward to it. But again, we have our health and uh, mm -hmm. you know, we, lost the, we, lost the, we lost the power for now, but we're still kicking. So... Why did you Florida decide things. to stay and, and ride this out? You didn't think it was going to hit this you area? Know, uh, yeah, we, we've, we didn't think it was going to be this. Uh, typical famous last words. And, they, you know, um, they told us, you know, we thought it was going to go west and stay out in the Gulf. Uh, and we just didn't expect this much storm surge. But it was kind of like a really perfect storm, pardon my pun, with the wind and the tides. Uh, so that's where we're just getting this incredible storm surge right now. Although the, the hurricane didn't hit us and the rain didn't hit us. We're just still getting blasted here. You own a business there as well. I understand selling car horns. What do you know about your merchandise? Oh, I don't even. So we lost. Uh, I was checking the cameras at work as well, but now we lost Wi-Fi and power at the office. I'm uh, we're in an older warehouse. I've been saving up for a new roof over the past year. So we have we we're moving product around and merchandise from the spots that could potentially leak. We'll see. I was in the office all day until 6 p.m. I'm going to go in tomorrow, of course. Uh, I've been checking on my employees and just, you know, hoping everyone stays safe and, you know, we will rebuild. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, you are, I understand you had a friend as well who says that his house was destroyed. What are you hearing about that? Yeah, my, my best friend Shane Krugman, he lives over in uh, in St. Pete area, uh, and he said his his whole you know two le le levels are underwater there. He said mm -hmm. he had over twelve feet of water. So, and he's also self insured. So I, I feel terrible for my buddy Shane. I feel terrible for all my neighbors, but we're all in this together, and this is what living in Florida is. So you know, we'll all team together and try to rebuild. Hopefully.